Jamie King, faculty at Newmont University with Mark Hennessy, an alum. How you doing, Mark? Hey, I'm doing great. So you graduated from Newmont in what year? 2012. So not too long ago, about a year, year and a half. And you went to Carnegie Mellon after that, correct? Yep, Carnegie Mellon, Silicon Valley campus. And that was a, that's a master's degree, right? Exactly. I did my master's in software engineering there. Very neat. So computer science degree from Newmont University and then software engineering from Carnegie Mellon. And you are now working for who? I work for Workday. And I actually got a job up there, Munich, Germany office. Munich, Germany. How long have you been working there? Uh, since August. So, uh, approaching half a year now. Very neat. And what, what do they have you working on? Um, they're coming out with a brand new um, user interface for their, their website. And um, I'm working with Google Web Toolkit, and I'm designing uh, widgets for them. But we also have offices in France and Ireland, and uh, the headquarters is in California. How much programming did you know before you came to Newmont University? Zero. <laughs> really? You didn't know any? Yep. And why did you come to Newmont University? Why did you decide to come to Newmont University versus any other school? Um, I was really interested about um, computer science and I, I looked at several different schools and I, I really liked Newmont's two and a half year intense program and uh, uh, Newmont's hands-on uh, curriculum really interested me. And you didn't take any job between Newmont and Carnegie Mellon. You went straight to Carnegie Mellon. Exactly. Yeah. Now, some, some Newmont students decide to go straight into industry and some decide to go on to a master's degree. Why in your case did you choose to go on to a master's degree instead of jump straight into industry? Yeah. Um, a lot of people looked at me weird for for not going to industry because you know, school is expensive and a master's degree um, only adds a little bit extra, but uh, like it, it gives you a little bit of an edge. But it's arguable as to whether it's useful or not. But um, I I had the the money and the time, and I I. I figured I, I'd never go back to school once I started working, so I it's something I wanted to do, and um, I feel it gave me a good, it diversified my, my experiences. Doing a master's degree is just something I had my mind set on, and um, it, it worked out well for me, and, and Newmont had really prepared me. How did Newmont prepare you to go to Carnegie Mellon, what, what specifically helped you to excel in your master's degree at Carnegie? Right, so in, I had a very strong technical background from Newmont, and that, that gave me an advantage over a lot of other uh, students at Carnegie Mellon who were maybe coming from less technical backgrounds, and it's a master's degree, so some people had more of a business background, and then they decided to to learn about computer science. And um, I, we sort of learned about software methodologies from scratch at Carnegie, and I had already been using methodologies at Newmont, um, test driven development. I already knew about uh, working in teams. Um, the curriculum at the at Carnegie Carnegie Mellon's California campus was very uh, team team based and um, learn by doing hands on as well and it was the perfect fit coming out of Newmont. How did your Newmont experiences prepare you for what you're doing now in industry? So Newmont prepared me very well. I I do exactly what Newmont said I would or. I do exactly what Newmont prepared me for, basically. If you were able to sit down with a student considering coming to Newmont University, what advice would you give them? 
um, do your work early on. Don't procrastinate. <laughs> Look at the timeline on your learning management system and get it done. <laughs> um, and, and get help as you need, especially in the beginning, like the Intro to Java class, I actually would stay after with some tutors that were that Newmont provided and that really helped me out. Um, and also don't neglect your your English and math classes. Those are important too. <laughs> Why do you say that? That's that's actually true. A lot of students will look at the math and especially the English and think, Oh, I just gotta jump this hoop, I just gotta get done with it and we stress uh, English, our writing skills, and our speaking skills a lot. So why do you bring that up? Um, well, actually, communication is the most important thing I, I do on the job. I'm, I have to be clear in my communication, and uh, I get a, a task. The first thing I do is just look at the screenshots and ask clarifying questions and figure out how to recreate that bug, and then I have to work in unfamiliar code, so I have to be able to ask my, my colleagues uh, where to find things. And uh, being a computer scientist is very uh, team based, and you have to be able to to communicate. Uh, and and math really stresses problem solving, which is is really what computer science is all about. 